And welcome to Leon's Lockpad. I uh, went a bit lock shopping today again. Got a DIY sign, Tommy Walsh, waterproof padlock with two keys and a hardened shackle. It doesn't look very waterproof. Um, gonna, this is a disc retaining lock as well. It does work, as you can see. Um, these um, I see a lot of these about uh, at the moment a lot of these in different shapes and sizes these disc retain locks but um, this one is uh, really terrible and I want to show you a trick you don't need your keys and you don't need a pick for these locks you need a screwdriver and a bit of strength. Now this retainer on your bugger. <laughs> Nearly. Oh sugar. There we go. It just flicked out and disappeared. That's the retainer. Supposedly has a circlip on it, maybe the circlip still inside. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is now I've done that, there's your locking mechanism. Watch this. Oh, the shackles just come right off for some reason with that. Oh, there we go. Pins just dropped out. There is all your discs. Show you closer. Sorry about that. There's your disc. One just fell out. I'll catch that in a minute. Give me a second. We're all falling bits. I'll just put this in. Yeah, it's just a little plastic casing with these little. Uh, there you go. These little discs. Uh, and if I line them all up. There we go, for lining them up, there is, there it is, give me a second, there's a pin, that sits in there, oh, give me a second, the, the, the shifted again. Give me a second, let me just face the camera down and make this a little bit easier. Let me line them back up again. There we go. Drop the pin in. Now that pin is what unlocks inside of there. Um, It's had two bearings inside the shackle. Let's hold the shackle in place. Let's get a torch. I'll look so you can see in there. There's nothing much in there. But, yeah, I see a lot of these people, a lot of people have these on their uh, family member of mine's got two of these on his shed. And when I watched Bosnian Bill, basically it just take out the retainer, pop out this plug, which is just plastic, and, well, the shackle just fell out. So, I mean, I don't know about good quality disc retain locks, uh, I've not had one yet, this is a fairly cheap one, but, yeah, you don't need keys to get in them, you don't need picks to get in them, you just need a screwdriver and a little bit of brute force, pop off the retainer, the insides will fall out, bearings will fall out, shackle will fall off, and you're in the shed, which is not good, if you get what I mean. And I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, for these unsavoury characters who like to get into people's sheds and stuff like that, um, don't use disretainer locks. Disretain, sorry. 
locks. Don't use them at all because you can bypass them just by taking that ring out so quickly. You don't need a key. Um, just complete junk. Um, I've got another video coming soon. I found another cheap, crappy, heavy duty bite lock with two keys. Um, do that in another video. Um, but yeah, please stay away if you go find this version. Don't bother. There might be other disc retain locks out there that are better quality and really hard to take that retaining clip out of there and pop this out. But this one was really easy and just basically junk. So uh, yeah, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this helps in any way. And... Bye.